So here we are at the Rec Fitness Center, and when students or faculty arrive, uh, starting August 3rd technically, they'll still come in the same way they're used to coming in, and we're going to actually have these doors uh, closed and locked uh, at all times, so as an exit only, so we can kind of have traffic coming in two different directions, so we have little uh, bumping face-to-face -face as much as possible, but they'll use their card just like they're used to on the left side, and they'll enter through on the left side, which is a little bit different than other buildings because of our card access reader. So once you're inside, you'll see we do have, we have created a divider here. And a lot of the things that uh, you'll see in this video were not quite ready for prime time is there are several things that are yet to be done uh, in the building to get it ready by August 3rd, which are scheduled to do next week. Uh, but one of those is we have a divider here so we can kind of direct traffic from left to right. Uh, there'll be hand sanitizer uh, stations at each entrance, both on the east side and on the northwest entrance, uh, more towards the middle of campus. Uh, so you can take some of that on your way in after you've touched the doors and all that to make sure you've got your, your hands sanitized properly. And you'll see that we have fewer uh, seats on the ends of each uh, of the building uh, and the lounge spaces trying to promote a little bit of the social physical distance uh, that, you know, that everyone's pre preaching here in the pandemic. Uh, that's also evidence uh, on the other side of the near the front desk where we used to have a pretty uh, big space for people to sit around and conjure and wait and sometimes athletes will sit there and have meals and stuff during their training camps. Uh, so they're a little bit more spaced out as well as in the front office. Uh, there is less seats in there, less sofas and two seaters and more just one seaters that we're able to uh, spread apart. We will have signs posted. Uh, on the doors and on each entrance and in the hallways, kind of with the rec fit uh, center rules uh, for here in terms of distancing and asking people to wear masks when they're inside the building, when they're not doing uh, intense cardiovascular exercise. We're hoping that we can, everyone will wear a mask uh, when not engaging in serious activity uh, at this point. So on this end, which is normally our check-in area for community, uh, members who have memberships to the RecFit Center. Uh, we will have a shield that will hang down for our front desk workers who will also be uh, donning the mask also, of course, for double protection. Uh, there are fewer seats on this end. If you see, this was the area I was just referring to. Uh, there are currently just three chairs now, now instead of what we, I think, was, was nine uh, before. And once we open in August for athletes. We think that this will also be a, a station where we could do temp checks uh, and do some kind of check-in for athletes when they come in for practice uh, and know that they're ready and healthy and have their health screened. There will also, again, be additional entry exits here on the northwest, northwest side, as well as hand sanitizer. And then normally we have our spinner bikes uh, in this area of the fitness center. And uh, we are going to reduce it by four bikes so we can put the bikes that are at least a good seven to eight feet apart uh, so we can have people who could do potentially do a class and still be at a safe distance uh, from other people who are also because given it is a, a strenuous cardiovascular thing uh, we don't think that wearing a mask on the spinner will be a realistic thing to ask but uh, we'll see so the weight room will have a capacity limit uh, we feel that it is pretty safe within 16 to 20 people at one time, uh, given the, the space in which each machine sits, uh, and the benches and the uh, treadmills, and then the deadlift side of the, of the weight room. Uh, if everyone stood in there at a distance and said, we think it would be comfortable to have everyone between six to eight feet apart and up to 20 people at once, which we hope as a, as a full team uh, could do a workout together and close that off uh, for teams who are doing workouts. We'll also have water bottle filling stations. Uh, I believe we'll have three of those uh, installed by the time students arrive. Uh, and we're recommending that the water fountains will have signage there that they not be used like traditional water fountains, but just extra space where you could fill up a water bottle from the water fountains as well. So we're pretty excited about that. So here we are up on the mezzanine uh, where this area Typically is where uh, students, faculty, staff, and our community members do cardiovascular workouts on the machines, whether well, stair climbers uh, and elliptical machines. And what we've done here is kind of already got a head start and we've moved all the machines to where you can have enough space to be physically distance of a good six to eight feet between each headspace of each machine. And we're planning to do the exact same thing on the east side 
uh, which is scheduled to be done next week. So again, this uh, just an extra precautionary area uh, where we will also have cleaning stations up here where you can clean the machines both before and after each workout. So that is the tour of the RecFit Center and just some of the things that we're doing to help mitigate the spread and potentially make this a safe environment in which to come and perform athletics or do just your general recreation fitness that you get for just general students. And we hope again to bring the community back into the building in October once we feel like uh, we've gotten all the bugs worked out in terms of what we feel is necessary uh, to mitigate uh, the virus. So we're hoping that everyone comes in here, buys into what we're trying to do and trying to achieve and that everybody can have uh, a safe time here and feel comfortable when they come in, that uh, it's a safe space.